To commemorate this year's International Day for the Eradication of Poverty, a faith-based non-governmental organization, the Inner City Mission, has organized a humanitarian action conference in Abuja, soliciting concerted efforts from the government with all other stakeholders to end poverty and other forms of humanitarian crisis in the country. According to the organizers, addressing the challenges will enhance national development and also promote economic development. If we ignore children, we are ignoring our future. The world we have today was the one that was designed for us by our forebears. But we have opportunity to design the world in front of us when we invest in children. We are hoping to develop and foster collaboration. We are also looking to establish strategic partnership where we can leverage on each other's strengths uh, uh, knowledge, expertise, opportunities, access, pointing in our common and collective goal, which is providing sustainable humanitarian aid. We're going to be deliberating issues from different angles. We have the Senate on ground that will be discussing laws. There are laws that center around humanitarian aid in Nigeria. So you and there are some of, some of these bills that have been passed. We don't know. So we have him on ground to talk about it. The woman, the Mrs. Umma, Odi will be deliberating from the perspective of the, um, the woman and the child. Now you see it from the angle of this person. We look at the donor perspective. Now we're talking about humanitarian aid. Who is going to fund it? We already have those on ground that will facilitate the grassroots level and national level and regional level and international level carrying out this work. But who are the funders? What is the challenge of accessing funds? All those things will be deliberated.